Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Over the Rosters. In this episode, we are going to go over the AFC North. This includes the Baltimore Ravens, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So let's get it started. <laughs> Starting with the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson getting the starting nod, obviously. Superstar on offense coming in at a 76 overall, 94 speed, which is a lot of what people want to see. Behind him, they're going to have Robert Griffin coming in at an 85 speed, and then they have Tracy McSorley coming in at an 87 speed. So it looks like the Baltimore Ravens are wanting speed at quarterback. Their halfback role is going to be held down by Mark Ingram coming in at an 86 overall. Gus Edwards after his rookie campaign at 75 and Kenneth Dixon at a 76. Justice Hill coming in as a rookie this year at a 70. Fullback is going to be Patrick Ricard coming in at a 79 overall. Going over to the wide receivers, Willie Sneed going to get the starting role at a 78 overall. Marquise Brown getting the start as a rookie. We'll have to see if he actually does. But that speed of 97, I'm sure, will allow him to make plays and it will keep him on the field. But he comes in at a 77 overall. Seth Roberts coming in at a 77 as well for the wide receiver core. Chris Moore coming in at a 72. Miles Boykin, another rookie this year, coming in at a 71. The tight end is going to come down to Mark Andrews and Nick Boyle. Nick Boyle right now has a starting nod at a 77 overall. Mark Andrews a 79 overall after his rookie year. And Hurst down here after his rookie year at a 78. Left tackle Ronnie Stanley going to get the start at an 85. Backup looks like to be a 58. Left guard is going to be held down by Alex Lewis coming in at a 73. James Hurst at a 67, and Ben Powers, the rookie, at a 64. The center is going to be Matt Skura getting the start at a 70 overall, and Bosman coming in after a rookie year at a 63. Right guard is going to be Yonda. Yes, he's still playing. Yes, he's still great. 91 overall for him. His backup is going to be a 58. Going to the right tackle, Orlando Brown getting the nod as a sophomore. Had a great rookie campaign coming in at a 70 and 9 overall. Left the end is going to be held down by Brandon Williams at an 86 overall. Zach Seiler coming in at a 64 overall after Williams. On the right end is going to be Chris Wormley at a 71 and Willie Henry at a 75. I'm guessing Henry will probably start over him since he does have a better overall. We'll have to see when the season starts. Defensive tackle is going to be Michael Pierce coming off a great season. 92 overall. Dalen Mack behind him as a rookie. Left outside linebackers, Matthew, jo Matthew Juden going to get the start at a 81. Shane Ray at a 73. And Tyus Bowser at a 72. Middle linebacker is going to be Patrick. Right now they have him starting. He's going to be a 74. Kenny Young coming in at a 71 after his rookie year. Right outside linebacker is going to be McPhee coming in at a 79 overall. Tim, Ro Tim Williams coming in at a 74. And Ferguson, the rookie, coming in as a 70. The corner position going to be held down by Brandon Carr, 81, Jimmy Smith, 84, Marlon Humphrey, 85. I would say Humphrey probably gets a start over Carr. We'll have to see when the season starts. Taven Young also in that backfield. Also in that secondary is Taven Young coming in at 77. Free safety, Earl Thomas the third. Dude is a monster. 95 overall for him. Chuck Clark behind him at a 65. And Deshaun Elliott at a 65 as well. Going to the safeties, going to the strong safety, Tony Jefferson coming in as a starter. 85 overall for him. Anthony Levine, 80, 76 for him. And Cyrus Jones coming in at a 67. Justin Tucker is their kicker this year, coming in as 87. And Sam Koch, their punter, comes in at an 85. The next 
team in our AFC North is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. Andy Dalton coming in at an 80 overall. I I think it's high. Am I am I am I not? I, I, I think that's high for him. I think Andy Dalton is below an 80 quarterback. I know people might smash me in the comments. I know that some people think he's great, but from the way he's played in the last couple of years, I don't think he's an 80 quarterback overall. But he comes in at an 80. Jeff Driscoll getting a 61. And Ryan Finley, their new rookie, coming in at a 56. Halfbacks is going to be led by Joe Mixon. I think he should definitely be in the 90s. I think he is very underrated at an 88. Behind him is Giovanni Bernard coming in at a 79 overall. Rodney Anderson, the rookie, at a 67. And Trevion Williams, a rookie as well, coming in at a 66. Fullback's going to be led by Carter at a 66 overall. Wide receivers, A.J. Green at a 90. I still think that's a little low as well. I know Green kind of took a back seat last year, but I don't think that was his problem. I don't think it was his fault. I think it was the quarterback. So coming in at a 90 is A.J. Green. Tyler Boyd getting the 83 rating. John Ross getting a 74 rating and 97 speed for him. Cody Core getting a 69 rating, Erickson with a 70 rating, and Tate coming in at a 69 rating. Stanley Morgan, their rookie, comes in at a 66. Tight end led by Tyler Eifert. Hopefully he could stay injury-free this year, coming in at an 88 overall. Uzmoa coming in at a 78, and Sample coming in as a 71 as a rookie. Left tackle, Cordy Glenn, going to get the start at a 73. Left guard, led by Trey Hopkins, coming in at a 63. Center is going to be Billy Price after his rookie year, coming in at a 71. At a right guard, John Miller's going to get the start at a 70 overall. Right tackle, Bobby Hart, going to get the start at a 64. Going over to the left end is Carlos Dunlap at an 82. Jordan Willis as a 73, and Kerry Wynn as a 69. Right in, Carl Loss is going to get the start there at an 81. San Hubbard after his rookie year at a 73. Defensive tackle, Geno Atkins holding that down for many a years. Holds it down for another year at a 91 overall. Andrew Billings at a 72. Glasgow at a 69. Wren at a 68 rookie, and a 65 from Ringo. Left outside linebacker is going to be Nick Vigil. Going to get the start at a 72 overall. Middle linebacker Preston Brown going to get the start at a 75. Pratt, the rookie, at a 68. Nickerson at a 66. And Deshaun Davis, the rookie, at a 64. Right outside linebacker kind of up in the air. But right now they have Malik Jefferson after his rookie year coming in at a 68. Jordan Evans at a 67. And Chris Worley at a 64. Drake Kirkpatrick getting the start here at a 78 overall. William Jackson at 84. Denard at a 77. Webb at a 68. And Russell at a 68 as well. Going to the free safety, Jesse Bates after his rookie year coming in at an 81. Behind him, 69. And Wilson at the bottom at a 61. Strong safety, Sean Williams at a 79. Behind him is Trevion Henderson at a 62. Randy Bullock getting the starting nod for the kicker at 73. And Hubbard as a punter coming in at a 67. Our next team on the list is the Cleveland Browns. I know everyone wants to see what this team looks like. Everyone's stoked to see what the Browns can produce. And this is what they got coming in is Baker Mayfield, their superstar, at an 83 overall. I think that is just spot on of where he should be overall wise. Drew Stanton behind him at a 60 and Garrett Gilbert at a 48. They also have a rookie David Blau coming in as 48 as well. Mayfield getting that 82 speed. I actually think that might be a little low. I would say Mayfield would be more like an 85, 86 speed. But 82 is not bad, especially for the Browns. 
Running back is going to be Nick Chubb after last year coming in at an 85. Duke Johnson at an 80. And Hillard at a 65. They do also have Kareem Hunt coming in as a 90. But I think he has to set out. I don't even know how many games he has to set out. But I know he has to at least set out like 6 or 8 games. So they're, they're missing him for half the season after the whole debacle in Kansas City. But he's coming out as a 90. At wide receiver, Odell Beckham Jr. getting the nod there at his 96 overall. We'll have to see how he can do with a quarterback like Baker Mayfield. Hopefully he could get what he needs to be that standout guy. He did it with the Giants, with Eli, and apparently he thinks that Eli's been holding him back. So we'll have to see how he does this year at a 96 overall. Jarvis Landry coming in at an 84 overall. After the great season by Callaway, he comes in at a 74 after his rookie year. Higgins coming in as a 73, and Jalen Strong, 71, and Ratley coming in at a 69. Najoku, their tight end, coming in as an 82. I think that's a little low. Najoku is one of the better tight ends in the game. 82 is a little low for him. But behind him is Demetrius Harris coming in at a 77 and DeValve coming in at a 76. Left tackle is going to be Greg Robinson at a 70 overall. Left guard is going to be Batonio coming in at an 87 overall. Drew Forbes, the rookie, at a 64. Center is going to be J.C. Treader coming in at a 79 overall. Right guard held down by the sophomore. Austin Corbett coming in at a 70 overall. Right tackle is going to be Chris Hubbard coming in at 72. Left in Oliver Hernan coming in as an 82. Chris Smith behind him at a 67. And the rookie Wyatt Ray coming in at a 62. Right in is going to be Miles Garrett. Excited to see him play again this year. He has definitely earned that 91 rating. Behind him is Zatel at 73 and Chad Thomas at 66. The fifth tackle is going to be most likely Sheldon Richardson in that one spot. But behind him, 77 overall, Richardson at an 84, Colley at a 68, Davis at a 68, and Daniel at a 62. Left outside linebacker is going to be Jannard Avery getting the start after his rookie year. 76 overall for him. The rookie, Takataki, going to get a 70 overall rating for a rookie at left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker, Schobert going to get the start here at a 79 overall. Taylor behind him at a 67. And Mac Wilson, rookie, at a 64. Right outside linebacker is going to be held down by Christian Kersey at a 75 overall. Ray Ray Armstrong behind him at a 65. Going to our corners, Denzel Ward having an amazing year last year. Gets an 88 rating as a corner. Sophomore season, 88 rating for Ward. Good for him. Terrace Mitchell also doing well at a 76. Greedy Williams, 73 as a rookie. Carey at a 74. And Philip Gaines as a 69. Demarius Randall getting the 86 overall rating, getting the start at free safety. Eric Murray at a 70, and Redwine at a 66 as a rookie. Strong safety is going to go to Morgan Burnett, getting the start there at 74 overall. Kicker this year could be plenty of people, but right now, Greg Joseph has a starting nod at a 69. Cyber, also a rookie, comes in at a 66. The punter is going to be Britton Colquitt at 79 overall. The last team in the AFC North is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger coming in at an 85 overall this year. Joshua Dobbs behind him at a 63. And Mason Rudolph at a 65. James Conner coming in at an 83. Again, I think that's really, really low. I think they really kind of botched the running backs this year. I think there's a lot of good running backs that they have that aren't high enough. And then I think they also have some ones that are pretty high level that don't deserve it. Connor is one of those who does deserve a great rating, and he gets gypped here with an 83 overall. Jalen Samuels behind him at a 70 is even low. 
Benny Snell as a rookie at a 69, and Trey Edmonds at a 64. Fullback is going to be held down by Knicks at a 70. Wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster at an 88. I think that might be a little, you know, I could see him going up over that and being a 95. I could also see him having kind of a bad season and being back at 84. So an 88, I think, overall fits him pretty well. James Washington, after his rookie year, comes in at a 75. Dante Moncrief, 75. Ryan Switzer, 74. Deontay Johnson, the rookie, at a 69. And Eli Rogers, at a 73. Vance McDonald coming in at an 83. And this is what I'm talking about, Najoku getting gypped. 83 for Vance McDonald, and Najoku was an 82. There's no way that Najoku is not better than Vance McDonald. Xavier Grimble behind him at a 68, and Gentry, the rookie, at a 63. Left tackle, Villanueva getting the nod there at an 85 overall. Okafor, second string guy at a 66, and Hawkins at a 60. Left guard, Raymond Foster getting the nod there at an 82. Finney as a 68. Sitter, Marcus Pouncey getting the nod there at an 85. Right guard, DeCastro at a 93. And right tackle, Matt Filer and Banner are probably going to go over these at a 65 and a 60. Going over to the defensive side, Twit getting the lead at left end at an 85 overall. Right end is going to be Cameron. Cameron Hayward at an 80 is 6 overall. So they got that pretty much locked down. They did also grab Isaiah Bugs. I love his last name. The rookie right in at a 63. Javion Hargrave getting the nod at 79 overall as the defensive tackle. Left outside linebacker is going to be TJ Watt. I think they kind of underdid him here at an 82. He should be at least an 85 in my opinion. Middle linebacker is going to be headed up by Vince Williams at a 76. Devin Bush as a 72 overall rookie. And Mark Barron as a 72 as well. Right outside linebacker is going to be Bud Dupree at a 73. And the, the rookie Sutton Smith at a 66. Cornerback Joe Hayden. I think this is kind of spot on. He's had those good years and then he's really slipped off lately. 84 overall rating for him. Steven Nelson, a 76 overall rating. Mike Hilton, an 80 overall rating. Artie Burns with a 71. And the rookie Lane with a 69. Free safety, Sean Davis getting the lead here at 72. Jordan Dangerfield at a 67. And Marcus Allen at a 62. Strong safety, Terrell Edmonds going to get the nod here at 74 overall. Branch behind him at 58. And Cameron Kelly at 58 as well. Chris Boswell getting the starting job so far at 69 overall. And Jordan Berry, the punter, at a 75. So thank you so much for watching this episode of the AFC North Rosters. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below. Tell me who you think is going to make it out of the AFC North this year. Is it going to be the Cleveland Browns, which everyone thinks are going to have a great year? Is the Pittsburgh Steelers still going to lead that? Is the Baltimore Ravens going to make a run? Does Cincinnati turn it around? Comment down below. Let me know who you think is going to make it out of that division. I think this division is going to be really tough this year for all of the teams. So comment that down below. Till next time, slacker out.